time. What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. Those I'm in class. Everything's cool. Absolutely. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade she to the 21st century. Right? But I like it old school. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could I can't that believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Too obvious. But... Get old school. What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their... ...of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so... ...she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well. We've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. He was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or, shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. 
The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I you should. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? All about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I. Even her school books are gift wrapped. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I just really think everyday heroes is an important. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is... Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh. oh. Hi, Max. I only want to share whatever gifts I have in the world. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documents. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. 
He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying hundred. You always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. Like I feel like you have to because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Inside my Imagine a world without you. I love that picture of Mama there. Hello, Jack. Like kiss, kiss. You. Andy, you Be look totally fabulous as usual. You. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from Yes, the this poster side. must stop fully dead in your track. His photos are very cool. I wish I had. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Girls. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. Somewhere around the mountains No one could dry her fountain Till she got tired to come It looks like she's been gone for months That's when I fly I wish October would last forever 
don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. my AK at home. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? This poster must drive people to have sex. Good to flow. Thanks. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Hey, fucking man. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I've got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No!
Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of... Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, totally Jefferson asked, asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and around. check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail and people now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far away. Still the same. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. 
Even if Victoria your hasn't moved from that spot. Everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard. I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because Max wants everybody to see. I can't even get off the couch. Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's payday? You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. 
So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' Don't wander around here. Get on outside. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Yeah. I just got sick in class. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. 
Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms. It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. What is going on today? Need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. No. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. None shall pass. Capiche? Yeah. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> Keep walking, hippie. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? No. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Rewind and find something. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Why not let me use it? What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. So do you understand English? Get lost. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Okay, let's see if this works. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. 
Oh man, she looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Okay. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. No. Victoria probably played me. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. As if. Juliet, extreme reporter. This girl must have been popular. She's ever...